Another win, 101 points, five blokes in double figures. You out rebound the opposition by eight or nine and you shoot about 50%. How good is that? Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, you know, there's a Hawks are playing with their desperation right now, and um, you know, I thought it took us a little bit of time to wake up with it, their physicality and the way they really got after it. And um, you know, I thought we were, you know, a little bit fortunate to be up as much as we were at halftime. But you know, we started playing our type of defense in the third quarter and hold them to 12, and probably a little disappointed that we didn't put up a. 23, 24 point quarter there and be able to stretch it out a little bit more. But yeah, we've had, you know, most games we've had 10 point leads going into the fourth quarter and, you know, the, it's, got, it's got close in different games. And so tonight I thought we showed a bit more composure and, and closed the game out better. So um, yeah, quality win. Some commentators slash experts have said Melbourne are surprising us. They're ahead of where we thought they'd be. Have they surprised you, particularly? Oh. I hope not. Um, you know, we've obviously having Joe out at the start of the season, and you know, was something that you know we've dealt with well. And Ariel has been fantastic. Um, you know, Rob Lowe coming into our group also has just fitted in so well and given us given us different looks. Um, you know, today to uh, play without Delhi and to be able to uh, see other guys step up in that area and. I see, especially uh, Ian Clark and you know Tanner Krebs were two guys that we put a little bit more weight on today to to really take some some load there as well. So, you know, every team throughout the season is going to have their share of injuries at different times, and you know the teams that are, are going to um, feature in the playoffs are the ones that are probably going to be able to handle that part well. And you know, so far we have, but um, you know, Delhi Delhi's a quality player, and we want to get him back as soon as we can. Ariel. Um Came into this game averaging a double double, and you had 21 and 10 tonight. Firstly, how do you rate your performance this evening? No, I mean it's pretty good. I mean, um, I'm still working on myself. I'm still working on my body. I'm still working on my game. Um, for me, it's just the team. You know, I'm just I'm just looking for the win. Um, not really thinking about myself. Just like for the win, I'm doing my job. So yeah. Bernard Copeland, Andrew Gaze, legends of the game, said, "Why think he's come back better post Achilles than he was?" Before the injury, would you agree with that? Yeah, I would. Um, you know, he just said had a, it was a year of growth um, for for him as a person, and um, you know, once he'd really committed to his rehab, and once he got through that phase of you know just being disappointed about not playing, and um, but yeah, once he hit that rehab and hit it hard, and um, we'd seen uh, the progress of Jack White, and they had communication through there but yeah he thought he was bouncier he thought he was stronger when he come back and and now he's showing a real poise um, which is something young players takes a while and but Ari was really grasped that one tonight and you know the quality of pass he made to Tanner Krebs down the stretch tonight to catch it in the short roll just assess the floor make a perfect pass you know they're, they're the things that we'll talk about we'll also talk about how well he made um, you know, Froling's life difficult at the rim tonight, and you know it's a big difference in the game that we shoot 70 point from two, 70 percent from two, and they shoot 40 percent, and a lot of that's to do with our rim protection and the guys around the rim. What do you think, Joe? Is the return Dan Ellison forgetting to wear the right shorts? <laughs> No, I thought he was great. You know, we, we planned to get him somewhere between 16 and 18 minutes tonight and, you know, a little bit under uh, that one. But, yeah, I thought, you know, his composure, his impact on the game, um, you know, his poise catching it in the block and, you know, he's going to see double teams, you know, down there as well. So once we get our spacing right and our cutting right to, to play off that, um, you know, he, he's going to be a weapon. And, you know, we didn't see him quite grab rebounds and push out pace and do some of those things that we know we can do as well. So, um, yeah, you know, again, our rim protection, our, our defensive centres are, are outstanding and, um, you know, Ariel and him are, are going to be trouble for teams. Just on that, how do you manage that, having two elite big men both yeah, we've got three, so <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, you know, Rob didn't, uh, he didn't quite play as much as I'd planned tonight and, we, you know, we want to be able to try and use him playing with Ariel and Joe and use him as a four man and a stretch four, but um, they went so small this game at different times that we had to try and counter that with going a little bit smaller as well, so um, yeah, you know, they're, they're going to all play um, minutes through the th first three quarters and we'll, we'll go with the ones down the stretch that are, you know, producing and 
And I think it's the only way that we can handle it. Um, like I said, I'm just um, keep doing my job. You know, everybody got a role in the team. I think I found my role in the team now. Um, took me a while because I came off the injury. It was a year out, but um, through the preseason and um, through the season, I mean, I got it now. I know what my role is, and I think I did a great job today um, doing my, doing, playing my role. Then your record in Wollongong and Wollongong Cup was including seven of the last eight. Now, obviously, it's a big rotation of players. Is there something about this small, this vision that makes Melbourne United play well in? Yeah, we were kind of reminiscent about, you know, the games last year and uh, might have gone double overtime and um, X made some crazy big shots to, to, to when we looked like we were dead in, in the first overtime. We talked about some of those games. We talked about the triple overtime game that we had years ago and we got four overtimes. And so we've, had, we've just had some crazy games here and um, we've been fortunate on a few to, to get across the line. But, um, yeah, you know, winning on the road is something that, you know, through this first part of the season, we've been able to get three good wins on the road in a row. And, um, you know back into the season those things are going to add up so you know, I think you've always when you've got a team that can win on the road you know we, the flights weren't right to you know coming to this trip the trip to Perth there was things happen and this group's just been able to handle those situations and get through it and be real pros and uh, turn up for the games and play well. And how are you prepared for knowing that Illawarra will not get any level they want to get even hungrier for the next game on the yeah, you know, we'll take the good things that we did out of this one and, you know, they shot the ball pretty well. There was some, some guys from the three-point line that, that made shots and, um, you know, there was, there was a couple of guys there. You know, Lee was always a threat all night and, um, you know, even 12 up in the couple of minutes to go, you always worry about this team with the, the shooting capacity that they have on the floor. And um, so, yeah, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna beat some good teams this year and, and hopefully when they come to Melbourne, it's, it's not us. Chris? Yeah, Dan, just one, one for you. Um, the break is now on Sunday. Is this a difficult game to prepare for? Because it's hard to know what to expect. They've been in the US the last two weeks, they've got a new import. Um, I imagine it's probably hard for you to know what to expect from them. Yeah, you know, we've. We've done that trip, and I think at, at some point, um, coming back from it, um, you know, there'll, there'll be a, a factor of fatigue, um, but I don't think it'll be on Sunday. I think they'll come off that flight and, you know, pretty happy about the way that they've competed against the NBA teams. You know, I sat down and watched the game against the Jazz the other day, and after the first quarter, you know, they, they won the game. And so, you know, I think they'll feel pretty good about um, their performances over there, and I think they did a good job for the league and the way that they competed. Yeah, new import, um, you know, their next stars only just kind of joined the team as well. We're not sure where Finn Delaney's at. You know, once they get their whole group together, they're a super talented team, and, um, you know, they're as tough defensively as, as anybody, so um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game on Sunday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.